Hello guys and welcome to a new video on the channel. This time it's not about Star Wars to be honest. As you already can see, this video is about Warhammer Age of Sigma miniatures. And it's not about a commission I made or a cooperation or something. This is really a project by my own because I got a little bit of pressure from someone to get into Age of Sigmar and also get more into tabletop gaming again and he is a little bit into Age of Sigma already and uh, knows a little bit about the rules and stuff like that. Yeah and therefore he convinced me to get an army as well and yeah I was checking around and there are a lot of cool models and miniatures and factions like uh, always from Warhammer or from Games Workshop. And yeah, finally I decided to pick Soulblight Grave Lords because I really love the models and yeah, I really like the vampire style and that kind of stuff. And they have cool poses, cool miniatures. And I also like the fact they, that they can get back models onto the field when they are already gone. I really liked this idea of playing an army in the Age of Sigmar setting. At this point I want to thank a lot to my sponsor Kutami, which is a German online tabletop shop. They have a lot of range, different systems, different manufacturers, so you can find a lot there. So if you are located in Germany, check them out. You get all you need for your hobby and especially the prices are very low so you, they have really good prices so feel free to check, check them out and another special thing is if you want to order a commission and you don't have the miniatures yet uh, please let me know because i can directly get the miniatures from kutami and you will get another five percent discount on their prices there if you order a commission from me and I will also uh, order it directly so shipping goes directly to um, to the studio and therefore the process is much faster so that's pretty cool and it's uh, obviously also possible if you are not located in Germany because I will order the miniatures for you and then after the commission is done I will send them to you and you can save a lot of money and also can save the shipping costs and also you get a discount on the seller's price 5% as I said and we save some time for the commission but now let's get into the video so I decided to do a bunch of videos about my way into Age of Sigma but honestly uh, not a lot about the gaming and the rules and playing and stuff like that so maybe I will do sometimes or someday a battle report. I'm not sure about that, but um, as you all know, this channel is mainly about painting uh, and creating art and stuff like that and painting miniatures. I have already done the Fargeists from the box, which are pretty cool models in my opinion. The poses are not that perfectly cool, but um, the model itself are very very nicely done and um, I decided for a special color scheme so I hope you like it enjoy the video in this video I show you how I painted the far guys how I painted the skin and the wings yeah I hope you like it uh, enjoy it let's jump into it like always I'm starting with the priming process and as usual I'm using a black primer from Vallejo and spraying all over the model with my airbrush after the first black primer is dry I'm using some cold grey Vallejo air color and spraying from above with my airbrush onto the model to getting or setting the first lights and separate them from the shadows.
My first color is Shellic Red. I'm not sure if I spelled it correctly, but you can see it in the picture. So it's like a purple color, deep purple color from Vallejo. And I'm using it as my base coat for the wings. As you can see, I am really go over all surfaces from the wings. So also the bottom parts as um, the top parts of the wings so that I really get everything covered. I am just not painting the very top parts, but this is not really necessary. So you can also paint over those parts because um, I wasn't sure in the first place if I um, paint over it with another brighter color, but in the end I decided to also spray over the top parts, so you can do this um, as well. To give the skin tone a more natural and exciting look, I decided to take some Yade Green from Game Color Vallejo and some Blue from Scale 75 uh, in about a 50-50 mixture. I think it was a little bit more Yade Green as the Blue so that I get a cool green Yade look and I just sprayed from the bottom of the model onto the skin so that I hit all the shadows especially and a little bit the mid-tones to get a cool look from underneath. I decided especially for this kind of color mixture because it is a cold color look and I thought it really fits quite cool to this Far Geist Monsters vampire style. I wanted to have the skin appear in a cold look. Here you can see how the skin looks after this step. I moved on with Gerald Brown from Vallejo Game Air Color and use it as a base coat for all the fell on the far guys, especially on the back and uh, also on the feet and everywhere where they have those um, fell or hair parts. Now I have painted all base colors onto the surface of the mini and I move on on the painting desk. And here I start with the skin with a heavy blue gray and ivory from Vallejo in about a 50-50 mixture. I'm picking all raised spots on the head and on the body and painting over them to set some highlights, some first highlights and to get the skin a little bit brighter on these um, spots. You can see on the body I am very focusing on the muscles and the chest to really define all the muscle parts.
I now painted a little bit over my uh, blue cold tone in the shadows and the midtones and therefore I go back with a glaze of both of them and just paint quite rough over the surface and especially to get um, the good transition between the base highlights and the shadows. After this I'm going directly back to my heavy blue gray mixture and my ivory mixture and now I use a little bit more ivory into the mixture to push the highlights again and um, I'm now trying to really just hit the upper parts to uh, don't paint over my shadows and my midtones again because I want to keep the cool blue look from underneath and into the shadows and a little into the midtones. After this I used the purple I have used before and mixed it with some ivory to get a brighter color tone and then I just paint some thin lines and there are some bulges on the top and I try to paint them with the brighter color tone. You can also see that I paint the edges of the gaps which are inside the wings to get more depth and more contrast. I try to paint as much as possible from the bulks but I'm not too careful about this and this is how it looks after this first step. Now I get back to the airbrush with some crimson from Vallejo and I'm spraying now more from the top of the model onto the wings to get a better transition between the lines and the base coat I have painted before. You can see the color is a little bit more brighter now as the base color, the purple I have used before and therefore I get a much brighter and saturated look on the wings. I move on with the brush again and this time it's a mixture with ivory and the crimson to get a little bit uh, brighter tone again and uh, setting uh, now really bright highlights so you can see it's almost ivory in the mixture therefore the color is very bright and I'm now just try to uh, don't paint the whole lines I've painted before um, especially more in the on the top parts so in the middle of the lines to set really good highlights and as you can see I also have painted the upper edges from the wings uh, where spikes coming out um, to set nice uh, and defined highlights. You can see on the eye I have already painted the eyeball black and now I paint on with some white onto the black to get the eyeball done. After this I use some bloody red from Vallejo Air Color. It is very great to make a glaze and I glaze over the whole white surface to get a shiny red eyes. And for the final highlight and the light reflection I put a small white dot onto the eyeball. I'm moving on now with Sierra Denso from Game Color Vallejo and just paint with this color over the hairs or the fell from the Fargeist and you can see I just paint over the upper parts so that the recesses still keep um, darker with just the base tone. To get the hair parts even brighter I use some orange leather from scale 75 and uh, just do the same process again but I don't start painting from the bottom of the hair which means I skip the lower third. 
Now I'm mixing in some ivory into the orange leather to get an even more brighter tone. As you can see the tone here looks very bright and I really get a rough edge from the color before to the brighter tone but I will fix this later on. You can now see the result how this hair looks after this step and to get a nice transition I use some black red from model color Vallejo as a glaze to get a nice transition and also another color tone so more like a reddish which really fits to the brown tones before and which also gives a nice contrast to the pale cold skin tone. For the final highlights I use mostly ivory but it's still a mixture to just paint over the tips of the hair to set the final highlights. But then I was still not 100% happy because I lost a lot of saturation in the hair and to fix this I used some orange leather from scale 75 again as a glaze and painted all over the yeah, brighter parts of the hair to get the saturation back. Now I started to paint all the claws and I decided to paint them black and therefore I used black color from Vallejo and painted all over the claws and the wing bones. You can see the black makes a big difference and also gives the other colors a more shining look and uh, especially with the purple the black works very well. Now I give the wings a final color look to get more variation into the color and even make it look more natural and cooler and I use some uh, blue air color from Vallejo for this and spray from the bottom of the model onto the wings and as you can see it gives a very nice vibrant color look and makes it look more natural and dynamic. Now I move on with the claws, spikes and uh, bones of the wings with some blue gray and some black from Vallejo in about a 50-50 mixture and I paint all over the claws on the upper parts and sometimes I make them very thin lines to give the claws and spikes a little bit more structure. As you can see I leave a lot of black color because I want to appear the look still very dark and I just want to highlight the black here. You can see here now how the painted parts look after this first step and I moved on and uh, mixed some ivory into the mixture to get a more brighter gray tone and uh, do this step again but uh, now I just pick really small spots on the top of the highlights. And with this final step the wings are completely done. And because I was still not 100% happy with the hair or the fell, I decided to take some wildwood contrast from Thitadel and just paint it over the bottom parts from the hair to get even more contrast and get more depth. 
Yes, and so I'm done with the Fargeist. Um, as you can see, I have only painted one yet when the video is done. So you will see the other ones, of course, on my social medias. And of course, I will do some cool bases for them. So if you like to want to see a video about this, feel free and please let me know in the comments below. I'm quite happy with the color scheme. It's a little bit more fancy and more colorful, not too dark in my opinion, but I like it very much. Please let me know if you like it as well. Thanks a lot and cheers. I hope you enjoyed the painting tutorial. If yes, it would be great if you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. Thanks a lot for this. It helps me to move on with the channel. Thank you very much and feel free to check out my social media channels where I post a lot of miniature arts and painting stuff and also some short clip videos on Instagram. Um, feel free to check it out to also see more pictures about the Fargeists from the H from Age of Sigmar. And of course I will hopefully do another video. Um, I'm already painting the Vampire Lord. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Jonathan from Wave Colors. Cheers!